Hey, what's going on guys? Zip here. Welcome back to the Tempest Box, episode 10. I got my Elytra bag, yeah! Now, for those of you that don't know why I even lost my Elytra to begin with, well, they didn't watch the last part of the last episode. Why don't we go ahead and roll that clip? You can see what I had to deal with. I have no idea, like, where I even am right now. What if we float into nothing and die? What the heck? What? What? Oh no! <laughs> Man. So as you can see, I've had better days in the end. But needless to say, we went back. And that actually, that end city that we were heading towards when I died. Ooh, that's when we raided. And we got some great loot that I'm going to show off in the chest tomorrow. Oh, man. Tomorrow. Uh, downstairs, I mean. It's good stuff. But before we do that, a brand new start to a new addition to the Tempest Box. We're going to be doing a comment of the day, question of the day thing. I mentioned this in the last episode. And today's question is from Braden McDowell. And he says, how did you and Dragon get the idea of custom command mod packs? A very interesting question, Mr. Braden. First of all, I'll answer your question in a second. What you all need to do right now is leave a comment in the description of this video. And if you do that, along with leaving a like on this video, you've got a chance of being featured in the next Tempest Box comment question of the day. We're going to put Braden McDowell's book in here for the time being. And with that, your question, sir. How did you and Dragon get the idea of a custom command mod pack? Well, I hate dealing with mods, right? I think it's just so annoying to constantly have to wait for Forge to update and this and that. And it's really not that bad anymore. But that just kind of stemmed with the idea that with command blocks becoming more and more advanced all the time, particle effects, uh, scoreboard, comparator compatibility, things of that nature, it just became more and more easier to actually just write mods that fit into vanilla. And honestly, most of these commands are just copy-paste that I review on the channel. So it's just so much more convenient. So thank you for your question, Braden. And again, leave one of your own. A comment and a like. With that, check out this loot we got, baby. Now, this is a combination of what we stuck in the end chests before we died, along with what we got from the new end city when we found our new El Ellie! We, we renamed it from season one. It was called Ellie. And with all the levels, we oh yeah, I didn't even mention that. So when we died, we lost all our levels. So I wanted to get some more levels, went to the nether, still have my fortune four pickaxe. We finished a lot of the upstairs with all the quartz we gathered, in addition to all the levels we obtained. And not only that, but look at this. We got so many books to deal with as well. And some of them are pretty decent. Like, look at this one. And we got, like, another flame in here somewhere. Luck of the sea. Beautiful stuff. Today's episode, if you couldn't guess by the title, we are going to be visiting a very special set of friends. They live in the middle of the woodlands, and they've got themselves their very own mansion. And we got ourselves some emeralds in order to buy the map to get there. We're visiting the Illagers. So we're going to take out the woodland mansion in today's Tempest Box. And, if you didn't guess, we're going to be flying there with the latest snapshot update, you can now use fireworks, as you saw just a second ago, to fly with your Elytra. So I'm gonna get geared up with all this best stuff. We're gonna highlight all the good things, by the way. I'd say these ones down here are the more powerful pieces of tools and armor we got. Well, I only really own one part. So check this out. Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 4, Mending, and Fortune 3. We got ourselves that crazy sword that we found in the last episode with Sweeping Edge. Unfortunately, it's got Bane of Arthropods. Ick. We got ourselves another Silk Touch. Thank goodness. And not only we get a Silk Touch, but we got another Silk Touch. Two different Silk Touches. So that'll last us a while and I'm glad we got that so we could actually get those ender chests back and mine them and two fortune three pickaxes and of course this is just a great helmet nothing too special but the rest of this is just kind of eh or it's got curses on it so with that we're gonna head over to the woodland mansion and make ourselves some new friends oh speaking of new friends I got a puppy oh he grew man he was so cute before it's almost like do I need do I need a horse anymore like do you do you see this? This is vanilla now. This is just how travel's gonna work from now on. We're gonna make our way all the way. In fact, I kind of want to get some serious height on this so that we can just kind of dip down and not use as many fireworks. Because if you didn't know how Elytra work, if you do this properly, you can basically stay in the air forever by just going kind of back and forth like this. And then you go back up, and then it's a thing of beauty. Now, anyways, we need to find the villager that sells me the cartograph. I'm trying to remember which little hole it was in. We discovered this village in a previous episode, by the way. It's like all underground down there. So I'm going to look around. Uh, we'll be back in a second. Oh, I forgot. He's actually above ground. Hello, Mr. Cartographer. We're here. Ooh, 
We gotta find more. Okay, not as bad as I thought. Turns out you can trade a villager multiple times, and there's a chance that he'll actually just keep giving the trade over and over again. So we just turned all that paper we had back in the bank into emeralds. Hey, <laughs> and we'll be able to have just enough, assuming. Oh no! Now wait a second. Please, pink! Give me pink particles! No! No, you gotta be kidding me. Ah! And it was with this final trade to Mr. Cleric that we had enough emeralds. Man, that took forever. Anyways, we're gonna shoot back up at the top because it was the coolest thing I've literally... Look at this. Oh, well... Man, come on. If... Come on! Okay, want it, need it, gotta have it. Yeah! Oh! Fine! Get up! Oh no! Okay, this is bad. You know what? We just, oh boy. Oh no! You know we're just gonna we're just gonna climb up. Now Adam went through a lot for this. Okay. Oh good, we have a compass. I like forgot we also need a compass. So let's see. Woodland Explorer map, yashay, huh? According to this thing, we are a ways away. If we could just. So we, this is northwest of where we need to go. Hmm, that's all it really says about it though, because this is us on the map down here, which means wherever we are, oh, eee! <laughs> I get nervous. It was one of those angry zombies. It was one of the custom mobs. So I want to mess around. You see, look, cause I don't even have a sword on me. Oh, and he's gonna kill the, no. You need to live, you need to live. Uh oh, hey, hey, you know what we need to do? We need to quickly make you survive. Get! Uh-oh. Nah, nah, nah. Okay. You know what? He can figure it out. We got ourselves the map. I don't care anymore. You're on your own, villager. Just to make things interesting, though, let's go... <laughs> nice cough. We're gonna go ahead and make... Man, worst guy. Terrible commentator. Don't watch me. Go away. Just kidding. No, anyways, don't leave me. Anyways, what we need to do is make ourselves a nice eye of ender. We're gonna make ourselves a nice custom staff right now. We messed with this a little bit beforehand, but we didn't actually make any. We only found them. So let's see what staff we get. It's a random pick. Ooh. We got a repulsion staff. Ooh, this is a fantastic staff. If you don't know what this staff does, there's actually a video I did on my channel that covers all 16 of the different staffs that the Tempest Box adds, including these three and one that we actually lost because uh, we died. <laughs> but the gist of it is it heals me, it levitates me, it damages nearby mobs, and it gives me a little bit of invincibility after I use it. This is going to be insanely helpful for the upcoming dungeon. So anyways, I'm going to finish getting ready, and we will be on our merry way. All right, friends. Map in hand, firework in other hand. I think it's time we set off on this journey, huh? Away we go. So, what we're trying to do, I'm gonna get up as high as I possibly can, right? Just keep going up, and we're just gonna dive bomb over and over and over again to m maintain as much of this height as we can. Meanwhile, we're gonna keep heading west. Yeah, okay, we're headed west now. Until this little cursor in the bottom right, right here, moves a little bit. And the moment we're parallel with this, we can actually start getting things going. So, don't mind me. This might take a while. <laughs> Ooh, look, it's already gotten a little bit bigger on the map. We're already getting fairly close, I think. Is it popping off yet? I don't know. Oh, wow. Okay, that was fast. We didn't have to go that far east to be on. Although, in fairness, we've already moved like 3,000 blocks. It's kind of hard to say, but look, now we're straight. So now, if we just continue to go north, we're gonna hit this thing. And I'm curious to see if we can find out any other, like, amazing goodies along the way. We'll find out. Huh? Oh, wow! We're already there! <laughs> Jeez! This was not bad at all. Well, this is great. It should be a popping up right there you are. There you are. Punks! Ein. I fell. Well, that wasn't that bad. Let's see. What are our coordinates? That's not bad at all. Now we just need to find the entrance, and I think I just located it, to be honest with you. Is this it right here? Yes, looks like it. All right, folks. What we're going to do before we do this is actually set up a nether portal so that we can get back here and so that we can kind of see where the nether portal uh, places itself, if you will. Actually, I got a shovel for this. I'm not a peon anymore. Wow, that thing moves fast. <laughs> All right, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Yeah, uh oh. We goofed. There we go. Much better. Light this thing and see where the portal takes us, huh? I'm curious. Away we go. Okay, and so where are we? We... Wow. 
I wonder if this is the, geez with the lag. I wonder if this is the stronghold that we are by for our regular base. Uh, I'm not sure. Wow, that that teleported me back very quickly. Anyways, we're all good to go to set off into this mansion. Actually, I'm gonna organize real quick. So the repulsion staff is gonna be used in emergency situations only because it has very limited use, and we want to make sure that. Oh, you know what I didn't bring? I didn't bring any torches or anything. You know what? I am tempted. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna go mine real quick. I'm gonna get some coal. Okay, that should be enough. What we're gonna do now? I think we should clear this bottom floor. Just so that we can make sure we grab every single because our hidden rooms in these woodland mansions is well yikes. Talk about terrible interior designer, huh? And we want to actually keep two of the illagers alive because we can use them, I think, for farms. And it'd also just be real pleasant. Ooh! Hello! Whoa! Yo, get it with it! I'm telling you, the diamond hoe, all about it. Now Where is he? I hear him. He's around here, so yeah, I'm playing that game, man. What else we got around here? Ooh, begging, begging to be dug into. This has to be a secret room. Has to, it is, I think. Please? <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> Just see that coming out of nowhere? Not how I play, man. I Don't blow up. I like this carpet. I want to save it. <laughs> hey, he took my gunpowder. Mmm. <clears throat> Meanies everywhere. Jikes. And these things are a little strong, too. All right, now what's in here? I knew it. I knew there was a secret. It was just... Ooh. What? Uh-oh. Did you hear that? I hear one of the illagers nearby. We'll get to that room when we get to it. I don't want to break into anything we don't have to, huh? Oh, there's one of them. He's right there. Okay. So we want to actually... I want to I want to get him encompassed in a, in a, in a secured area right off the bat. So we're gonna make a little fort for him to get stuck in <laughs> right now. Cause I won't play around with this. It's gotta happen. <laughs> Seriously. In fact, mm, trying to think, hold on. Okay, I think this will accomplish what I needed to. We're gonna jump to this one once he chases me in and then I'm gonna barricade him off once he can't reach me. Come on over, go oh wow, he's right there. Hey now, I know you see me. Yikes, chasing me so fast. Eh, whoa! <laughs> oh no! You stay bad. There. Now I'm pretty sure not we. He nah. He's good. He's stuck, and he won't despawn. So he's good there. New friend. New friend alert. Yeah. Sorry, Johnny. Not today. Okay. What's in this room? Now I actually did a whole map, a whole video on every single room in the mansion. I just don't remember. Every single thing about it, but if you're curious, you can find a link to that in the description too. Or you click the little eye thing, whatever. <laughs> Ooh, jail? Oh wow. Okay. Okay. Is it? Now see, I hear one, and I don't know how I feel about it. To be honest, I'm gonna take this. This is mine now. <laughs> Actually, is no, there's nothing. I mean, maybe we'll collect the carpet. It's good decoration. It's cheap to just steal it, as opposed to. Whatever else. Now, is there an illager in one of these that I need to be worried about? No, but plenty of cauldrons! Okay, found me the monument. What a fun room. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there's a diamond block, like, in the center of this thing's head. So we're gonna take out our spider friend. Stop attacking me! And I think it's right in the center, I'm pretty sure. Okay, well, we found some obsidian. No, lapis. Ooh, I'll take lapis. Good for enchanting. <laughs> Turns out his brain's filled with blue, not green. Easy, easy does it. Now I wanna, I, you can, yeah, you're dead! Uh, killed him real good! Now is that one of the other ones? Okay, it's just another one of these. Now see, we already saved one. Oh, it dropped emeralds, not bad. I wanna save an evoker as well. We've saved ourselves a vindicator. Oh, wow. Oh, actually, I'm pretty sure these are all empty. Right, <laughs> well, Stupid. I mean, I may as well collect them for chests. Another weird looking dungeon. This one looks very, ooh, is one of them in there? Oh man, what if, <laughs> no, stay away. Is there one in here? I can't tell. Too dark, Must more cauldrons. Alrighty, that is floor one neutralized. We're gonna start running into some serious threats here when the evokers start showing up with their vex friends. Eee, oh boy. We got a lot right there. Now, come on. I ain't trying to... 
Ooh, man. You can get it in with a three, but it's always a little difficult, huh? Now, come on. Yikes. Oh! <laughs> now we run. Right. Oh! Oh, yeah! Yeah, kill him! Well, okay, well, I didn't do too much. <laughs> he is a strong guy. Now, now, A. Come on. Uh huh. Now, hopefully, there's a... What's his face in here, huh? Yikes! Scroll! Okay, good. Oh, it's just a nice little room! Now, is there an... Uh, is there a... Uh, oh! <laughs> Man, I was like, where is he? Okay, it looks like we took out all of them. Empty. Library... Oh, wow! <sighs> Man, they just know how to freak me out, don't they? In fact, is there enough... Now, now, I don't... Can you reach me? Jeez, where are they? Oh! Eee! All right, we're gonna use that thing. Get up to safety a little bit, huh? Okay, is there anything in here that I could even make? You know what? Yikes! I'm, I'm gonna take all the bookcases. We could always use more books. They're all mine. <laughs> okay, there's one of them. Okay, see? He's right there. I'd zoom in, but I don't have Optifine because we're in the snapshot. I need to secure a place to get this evoker locked in and that's gonna be right here we're gonna do the same strategy we did before where he can't reach me because he sucks and we're just gonna kind of push the rest of him in the proper way so right through here i think this will do it okay so we want to do this carefully i want to attract oh man i want to attract only the ones with the axes but it might be hard to do because they're all hanging out right next to each other all right let's just do this huh yeah, okay, cool. It might be better to- it might be easier to actually summon in to- Ah, uh, to surround the- the- the mage instead of making it- Cause I don't think he really chases. He just kinda hangs out. You know what I mean? Alright, you know what? This is a pretty much a free- No. We're gonna- we're gonna do the regen instead. Okay. Let's just get in there, man. Knock it out. Yikes. Okay. And then there's a Vex. Okay, oh boy! Yikes! Blow it up! Eee! Okay. Okay, he's still alive. Oh boy! Relax with the vexes! Okay. Come on. Now come on down. No, 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 no. Come on down. No, 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 no. Come on down with the no clip. Ugh. Die! Come on! I thought you were only one hit away. That made that a lot less climactic. <laughs> okay. So the vexes are still hanging out. I truly think the best thing- Jeez, those things do some damage to be honest with you. The best thing for us to do right now is gonna be to try and capture the evoker in his habitat. But we need to kill that creeper first. Yes. You are dead. Good. Really good. Okay, oh, he's still hanging out too to be honest, isn't he? Hey! I respect my authority! Okay, here we go. Yikes! They're strong! <laughs> Stay away! Oh man! Okay, we need to get some- Oh boy! We need to get some food handy before we start playing these games. Yikes! Stay away! Jeez! Woo! Okay. Back in we go. I guess technically we can just- Yeah. Oh man, okay, well we're gonna get him captured. Alright! Run away! Those things are strong! And he's still after me! It's okay. We're all friends here. Oh my gosh, and we're out of arrows too. These guys did a number on me. Get rid of things I don't care about. Get the apple ready. Got fire resistance for no reason. Yeah, I think he's fine in there. Evoker is in the giant dirt. Yikes, when did that happen? Okay, he's hanging out in there. No, no. <laughs> I don't want to die. Don't die, please. Eee. Anyways, now we can move on a little bit. Is this another? Oh, yikes. Okay, so he's going to drop a totem of him dying when I kill him. I want you to see me, Creeper. In fact, I kind of don't want to leave myself. Jeez, you, like, this is exactly what I mean. There's so many rooms filled with these guys right now. Come on. Come on. See in this room, too? Are they? Oh, yeah, they are. Man. There are just so many rooms filled with these guys right now. Hey, 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 come on! 
Woo! I want my emerald back. Give it to me. <laughs> hey, easy does it. Is there another one in here? No. Okay. So far, we're safe. What can I put on me to be... Mm, yeah. You know what? Let's, um, let's just go in and use this, the repulsion staff. Check it out. Did that kill him? Oh, wow, it did! In one hit! <laughs> we just got a totem of him dying, just like that. Yo, this thing, way too strong. And since when are there... Wow! Okay, what is all this about? Ooh, we got a disc! And some gunpowder, that's more fireworks right there. Bones, iron. I'm, I'm stoked about the totem of him dying. I've... <laughs> nice! Now, hopefully we don't have to use it, but I think I'm gonna keep it on me. Just in case. We don't have any more arrows anyways. May as well hold it in case something gets real nasty. I think, though, let's just do it the way we just did. You know what I mean? Like, look at this. Watch this, watch. They all, did they all just, well, most of them just died. Come on. You die! <laughs> Please. Oh, can I? Yeah, I'm gonna kill you. You die. Yeah! You're dead! And I just got another totem of him dying. Can I even hold it? Yeah, relax! You die! E. So, oh boy! Wow, I'm dying! <sighs> no! Ooh, I thought it was chasing me! Eat the apple! Oh, what? Oh no! Well, this is just embarrassing. But here we are in the nether again, and using the same website thing, whatever tool, Minecraft, I used to figure out how to find out where the stronghold portal was gonna be. I now know where the Woodland Mansion portal is essentially because we kind of just pinpointed and then like divided by eight and all that. So it should be around this stronghold somewhere. I figured I would start the recording here as I'm clearly in serious danger of losing everything. And I forgot a pickaxe. Well, this is a little embarrassing to say the least. Jeez, this man wants me, doesn't he? We are back in the nether because using the same method we used to kind of figure out where these uh oh. Oh boy. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, great. And this is great. Well, we need to kill him ASAP. Come on. Die. Okay, good. Oh, he dropped some gold. Okay, anyways, what I was saying is we're back here in the nether because the same way I found where the stronghold end portal needed to be, or nether portal needed to be, we used that same program online to figure out that this is where the woodland mansion portal I made should be. Oh, wow. He was just hanging out right there. He still hasn't seen me. Yee! You die. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yikes. Can you just die? Thank you. Come on. Now, anyways. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Okay, good. Now, where is the? Oh, it is. It's right there. Yes. Okay. Now, we need to bum rush up to the second floor if we want a chance of getting back any of our stuff. I'm going to get rid of all the things that I don't need anymore. Right. So that we can just pick up everything we need instantly. Dude, I am so nervous right now. We got to act so fast. I need to get my tone of them dying. We gotta move! Okay, now my stuff, it should be around- Yes! It's all here still. <laughs> oh, man. Let's grab all the important things. Right. Now, wait a second. Are, am I already hearing him goof about? I don't care about the helmets. I don't care about this stupid armor. I really don't. It's got the curses on it. Man! I am beside myself with how many times I died! Really? It's embarrassing! Now, do we grab everything? I want to say so. I really want the, the, um, let's get rid of this. Fine. And uh, I don't need, you know what I mean? Okay. I think, oh, the Elytra. Right. Yeah. That might be nice, huh? I don't care about sugar. Okay. We got everything now. Um, and uh, I think that's everything. Well, that's good. We made it. <laughs> oh, wow, and I forgot I had this thing. This thing would have healed me instantly if I'd used it. All right, after this guy is dead, second floor is now cleared. Except for the one that we blocked off. Now we can head up to the third floor. Ooh, and the witch dropped a nice little prize for us. Final floor. <laughs> Let's see how many times I die up here, huh? Ooh, hey, I forgot about it. Now, see, why does that happen? There's a nice little just piece of the dungeon missing. Interesting. Is there anything in here? Or is it just insanely dark? Looks like it's just insanely dark. How about in this room? Looks like we got the battle arena. Now tell me why that hit me 
sh definitely should not have. Oh, hey. Easy does it. There we go. Thank you so much. Now, is there something up here for me to grab? Oh, I got a ladder. Oh, there is a chest. Oh, wow. That's good. I guess we'll wear this because we didn't actually bring... We didn't bring any chest plate. Another diamond hoe. Come on. Next. Next room. What's it gonna be, boys? Ooh, this one's empty. Okay. How about in here? Are you empty again? Are these all up empty up here? No. Can't be, right? S something, surely. Did we... Did we kill all the illagers? Is that it? Really? Yeah, wow, I just went through all the rooms and it looks like we killed all the mobs. And that's that something. I guess we can call that mission accomplished, to be honest with you. Oh, wow, we gotta put the Elytron. I, I switched on the chat. I was like, why am I not flying? Am I in trouble already, huh? Now, come on, up we go. Perfect. So, yeah, my friends, that's, uh, I guess that's pretty much gonna be the episode. We're gonna go ahead and head on back home now. We pretty much need to go to zero, zero. So don't mind while I slowly head back. But that's where this episode of the Tempest Box is going to end, my friends. I do hope you enjoyed. Like I said, if you did, please do drop a like rating on this video. And leave a comment for the new question of the day thing that I'm planning on doing. Should be a great time. If you enjoyed, please do subscribe so you can see more amazing Minecraft content right as it comes out. And I hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. <laughs> you like how I sneak when I'm flying? That's good.